morning from Light Two. We'll be starting the program in about four more minutes. So they do have some more on jerseys if you want to serve yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Shall rise against me, 
In this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Verses 1 through 4. Let us go to God and pray. O oh, gracious God, our Heavenly Father, and again we come, we say, Paul, to tell you thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray the prayer of faith, hope, and love. O oh, God, as we celebrate this ceremony, we thank you for all the recipients. We thank you, God, that they are on a new life's journey, and we pray your blessings upon them. O oh, God, it's just good to be here to see young people striving for excellence. O oh, God, we thank you. We bless your name, and for every individual in the house, we give you praise, honor, and glory because, God, you are worthy of all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. We thank you, God, and we bless your holy name. For it's in Jesus' name I pray that everybody say amen. 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 We want to say thank you, Reverend Barnes, for that description and prayer. You know, uh, I think the majority of us in here are over the age of 25, except the young people. So we know that when we was in high school, like the young people was, uh, our parents had us in church, yeah. When we got out of school, we couldn't wait to get on our own. And when we got on our own, we found out that, hey, the church was the place that we needed to be. And we ended up right back there. And that's why you see a lot of us sitting here right now, because God has been good to all of us. Now, we're going to have a big old welcome by none other than for me, Jones. I think I pronounced it right. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. On behalf of the Kalita High School Alumni Association, I would like to welcome you to our first scholarship ceremony. To the recipients, you're welcome and your family. To the ones that made this possible, you're welcome. To all others, you're welcome. You're welcome. Now don't we feel better? <laughs> Once you give them a warm hearted welcome like that, you can't help but feel right at home. We know that we are on a journey now that's going to lead us into the future. And young men and young women that are receiving the scholarship, we know that you are looking forward to going and doing greater things because with God on your side, you can do anything. You can be anybody. You can go anywhere you want to go as long as you keep God at the forefront. Right now, we got a songbird in the house, and I know most of you already know him because he can sing just like I don't know. Make Johnny Gill a little guy look bad. Mr. Johnny Gill, come on. Put us on cloud nine. No man is an island. No man stands alone. Each man's joy is joy to me. Each man's dream is my home. We need one another. So I will defend each man as my brother, each man as my friend. I saw the people gathered, I heard the music start, the song that they were singing is ringing in my heart, we need one another, so I will each man as my brother, each man as my friend. I saw the people gather, and I heard the music start. That 
the superintendent asked her to float, be a float library for the elementary schools. When there, her position was filled, the superintendent gave her the opportunity to choose the elementary school where she would like to be the librarian. She chose East End Elementary School in Robsonville. While at East End, she enrolled in the East Carolina University and received a master's degree in library. A year later, she returned to East Carolina College to receive a master's degree in education. A concentration in super, supervisory. After completing, she was hired to take the vacant position as supervisor of library program for Martin County. During her career in Martin County, she taught media skills to students from kindergarten to 12th grade. She experienced with the high school teachers, English teachers and coaches, music teachers, art teachers. That was awesome to her. These are just a few of her wonderful experiences in both Edgecombe County and Martin County. Teacher of Adult Education in Edgecombe, Palmerley Town Commissioner for 14 years, Palmerley First African American Mayor for 12 years, Martin County representative, representative on the Mid East Commission, regular and executive board for eight years. <coughs> Martin County representative in the Southern Alternate Associate organization, and she's still currently holding that position. <coughs> like I said, she's the lady of many hats. The following are a few of her awards. She had a meritorious service. She was community service, Martin County Woman of the Year, Marriership Award. With all these experiences over the years, making her an ideal person to speak words of knowledge, words of wisdom with you today. I present to others and introduce to some, Ms. Lula May Hansel Harper. Ms. Lula May Harper. Association, parents, and other supporters. And more importantly, the 2023 Kenita High School Alumni Scholarship recipients. Good afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Now, where are you? All over the place? Recipients? I am reminded of an ancient Chinese proverb that says, Tell me. I forget. Show me, I remember. Involve me, I understand. I feel that as you worked at getting to this point, these thoughts registered with you, whether you were whether you, whether you realize it or not, we all learn differently. This is not your traditional speak, speech this afternoon. This is more or less words of knowledge and wisdom. Nothing is the same anymore. You have been through pre-pandemic, <coughs> pre-pandemic, and now post-pandemic. So now you can exhale. 
I want to start with your primary foundation. Remember when your mom accompanied you to preschool or kindergarten? There you met new peers, teachers, and others. Your parents helped you get used to the first, to first get away from home. This started your kindergarten through fifth grade experience. Your teachers observe you, love you, and watch you grow under their supervision. You then went on to middle school. A little older, and in any in 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 any different setting, but your parents and teachers follow your progress. You probably didn't look at it that way, but they did. Now here comes high school, which is much more different and difficult from the other two levels. Hard work was put into the lessons to make sure that you succeed. You did your part by looking, listening, and following directions. As the proverb says, you remember, you got involved, and you understood. As I said, this is not a traditional speech. These are not traditional times. This idea was spiritually laid on my heart. Remember, you are embarking upon a, the, the next phase of your long and wonderful life. You may be a little anxious as you, you may be a little anxious as you arrive on your college or university campus. Don't worry, there will be people there to greet you. Like a bird, you have left the com comfort of your nest that's at home. <laughs> your new nest will be just as comfortable once you get used to it, this is the next phase of your life. <coughs> your parents will be fine. Your symptoms will be fine. They will be waiting with open arms. When you come home for the holidays, if not sooner, you will be meeting new friends on campus from various parts of the state and nation. Stay focused and friendly. Be mindful of your surroundings. Choose your friends wisely. That means those who are friendly think like you and are smart or smarter than you. That way you can build more strength, comfort, and grow more spiritually, emotionally, socially, professionally, and educationally. Get to know your professors, classmates, roommates, dorm directors, department heads, and respect the rules of the apartment if you happen to reside there. Be a good citizen and role model. Visit the Technology Center often, study hard, but enjoy your college life. As a, as a reminder, include a circle of upperclassmen that you trust. <coughs> when there are questions that you do not need answers from a professor, they will be there. You want to feel good in your own skin. You will think better, have more peace and comfort as a college student. Keep your Bible visible in your room. Refer to it often. Go to church. Two scriptures of comfort that you need. Keep a favorite one in your heart. This will keep this will help you while moving about the campus, listening to class lectures, taking tests, eating, and while participating in extracurricular activities. Some of these activities include sports, band, choir. Greek letter organization with, with just a, to name just a few. As you do this, make sure that they don't interfere with your purpose for being there. I hope that I have shed enough light upon your upcoming college life to ease your mind as you leave the comfort of your home to venture out.
This journey was built on a solid foundation from home, elementary, and high school. Elijah, I hope I, I'm pronouncing these names correctly. Alin, Janez, Quatrius, Quartavius, and Eric. Stay focused. And Bob, and you will understand more about this new phase of your life. I wish all of you well and much success on this journey. Go. Be well educated and enjoy the ride. I am so proud of you. Thank you very much. Words of wisdom. This is what you just heard. Believe it or not, your parents and the elders, elders that are around you, they are not just talking and telling you something to tell you, to be saying something. They're letting you know about hardships, trials, and tribulations that you're going to encounter that they have already encountered. So they are letting you know what to do to avoid those pitfalls. And if you listen, hey, you'll be surprised how far you'll go. So listen, learn. And do your thing. At this time, we're going to have a recognition of our scholarships 2023 20, recipient by Mr. Jane Carson Kearney, class of 61. Thank you, Brother Axel. You told us to be loud. All right. So I'm going to talk as loud as enough for everybody to hear me without having a mic. I don't know much about it. I leave that alone. I leave that alone. Anyway, uh, let me look about the room and see. I have one, two, or three. Maybe there's four. Davis is the son of Natasha Davis Johnson, and he's a North Edgecombe High School graduate. Janez is actively involved in numerous community activities. The National Honor Society assists with backpack and coat drives. He even assists with the Canada High School Alumni Association Road Cleanup Project. Dual internship, youth athletic trainer, student body, and senior leaders, to name a few. Janette is blessed with receiving over 10 offers to play football. Why receive? <laughs> as, uh, at the collegiate level. He chose Limestone University in Gaffney, South Carolina. Although football is not Janette's career path, he will work toward playing at professional level. Janez plans to major in the field of kinesiology. Did I get that right? I asked my daughter who teaches chemistry what that meant. She said that had something to do with sports medicine. But I'm saying sports medicine is a part of it. Congratulations. And let me see. Let's step on the other side near the, near the screen. Slash coach slash God 
Godfather slash everything. This is this is Rashawn Jenkins. He's a principal at W.A. Patillo Middle School. Uh, this is my aunt Christy. Uh, she does everything for me. I love her. She's here every time I call. Every time I call, she's here. I promise her I love her. All right, let's give him a good time. Take a picture with with you and your management. He wants to build houses and stores in his community so that people would have quality living and good shopping areas. Right. And he has been accepted at North Carolina a and State University and East Carolina University. He has not committed yet, but he's going to whisper in my ear. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> he is not confirmed yet which one he plans to attend, but as I said, he plans to uh, study and get a degree in construction management. That's a good field. A good friend of mine is in that field. Now, step over here like that. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, Eric Freeborn Lyons, the son of Eric Lyons and Nakia Whitehead Lyons, a North Edgecombe High School graduate. Yeah. Eric is oh, actively back. involved in the student council, volunteers as a youth athlete trainer, and assists with food drives. He's a member of the National Honor Society and the Student Leadership Committee. Eric has been accepted to North Carolina a &T State University. <laughs> and plans to major in mechanical engineering. Eric is receiving the Chester and Maul Deloach Scholarship.
in each individual class that would like to get up and have something to say, you may do so at this time. Two minutes, please. <laughs> have two minutes. Congratulations to all of the recipients and much success in that big step in your life. The most, from my perspective, the most important step in your life. And I personally can say I was blessed because when I went to AMC back in 1967, I had a call. I had several other earlier alumni who needed to be there. But most of all, I had my big brother. And believe me, making a transition from high school to college is a major transition. It takes you time to get there, definitely. Basically, to be able to get acclimated to a whole new system in regard to your education. But thank God today, too, you do have a, 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 an element or you do have an instrument that we did not have. The computer now is probably going to make it a whole lot easier. But I, I know college you really remember, the hardest part about making that transition is just trying to get registered in the classes that you need. So believe me now, with the trans with the, hopefully with the computer, that uh, step will be a lot easier. I also want to close by saying, to the Alumni Association, on behalf of my family, we really appreciate the honor of your man that we restored the final Thank you very much because education to him meant so much. He was definitely one of the, he was the first in the family to be able to go to college and earn a college degree. He was primarily the reason why I went to college and so many other members of the family. But thank you, and again, much success to all of the recipients. Remarkable. 
It has been 69 years since Mobile graduated from Kalita High School and years since his part departure from his earthly visit. But his love for our dear beloved Kalita High and his dedication to higher education is still present through his family dedication to his memory of donations to the CSHAA Inc. scholarship program. Thank you, Mary and Tony. They are not here in person today because of other commitment, but their presence prevails. Now I would like to take you to a memory tribute to Vernon Reed Village. Life takes you to unexpected places and passion always lead you to connections, relationships that God planned for you. I remember hearing Vernon Reed's name from his mother, Miss Maul years before I truly understood the magnitude of his trailblazing achievements. In my high school days, during the summer, I worked in tobacco for his parents, Chester and Miss Maul. You young folks don't know about tobacco, but the other ones do. <laughs> She was of one of these accomplishments. He graduated from Kalita High School class of 1960 and graduated from North Carolina AT&T State University uh -huh. class of 1960. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I would okay, like to say thank that. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, 
I'm following the operator Lotus uh, son, and I wanted to uh, thank uh, Kamita. I'm not com com what is that? Just Kamita. I'm sorry, I'm not uh, really all that great on that. Kamita High School alumni for um, inviting me and my uh, family and supporting um, my family through this difficult time. Uh, my father.
bless y'all and let y'all know. When I started out, I enjoyed, I really enjoyed it. I really did. But when you get eighty, you, you don't enjoy much. <laughs> <laughs> but the couch and church. <laughs>
again, thank you for the successful uh, event. And again, I want to thank the DeLoach family for joining us today to honor the donors and your father and your brother, the late Bonnie DeLoach, Brigadier General Retired. I wouldn't say that too much. He's a very humble man. He used to say to him, he said, burn a ring. I said, no, no, burn a ring. <laughs> so, you know, I wouldn't overdo it today. But I have to say that at the end.